coverage on KSAT 12. The big game and our big game coverage features the Stevens Falcons trying to stay playoff relevant in District 28-6A against the Brennan Bears, attempting to stay right behind Brandeis with just one loss on the year. All Bears to start with on a trick play. The handoff goes to Jalen Spells, who gives it back to Darian Tollfree on the reverse, and he also plays quarterback. That's what makes this so amazing. He's able to find a wide-open Keon Thomas for the Bears' first touchdown on the trick play, and that makes it... 13 to nothing when David Varela finds toll free again. He's not going to play wide receiver to push the Bears up to a 20 to nothing lead. The Falcons get on the board before the end of the first half and Brandon Lee has Chris Jones to make it 20 to 6 Brennan. But at the half is 28 to 6 Bears. Now we're going to take it to the third quarter following the bad snap on Stevens punt attempt that sets up the Bears deep in Falcons territory. Varela to toll free again. That makes it 35 to 6. The final from Gustafson Stadium. Brennan takes it 42 to 6. We came out high. We know a lot of them over there. They're like really close to us, really. So we came out strong, ready to play, and worked on our game plan to execute it. You know, Stevens was doing some good things, made a few plays. You know, they're a quality opponent, but like I said, at the end of the day, uh, a quality win is, is very important. A district win is very important, and we're trying to build some momentum. So we were able to accomplish those things tonight. All right, the O'Connor Jr. J ROTC doing push-ups or points at Ferris Stadium. Panthers taking on Clark of 10-0 in the second quarter. David Dodd lost one to the end zone for John Locke, who high points it for the great 16-yard touchdown grab. Extra point, no good. O'Connor leads 16-0. They go on to win 49-0. The Jets and Rockets showing their support for teammate Bryce Wisdom as he battles his second round with cancer. Tonight, Rockets on the road to New Bravos take on the Canyon Cougars. No score in the first quarterback. Quarterback Mike Chandler keeps and outruns everyone for the 65-yard touchdown. That's his second in as many weeks and Judson takes a seven and nothing lead the final from New Braunfels 44 to 13 Judson now let's run over to Lynn Austin Stadium. Clemens Buffaloes are right behind the Judson Rockets district 26-6A with only one loss undefeated in the district watch this first quarter when Jackson Macias fakes the punt and he just takes off catching special teams players for East Central completely off guard he's able to score from 54 yards out to make it seven and nothing Buffaloes in the first quarter and as a result let's head to the big game coverage goal board for that final Clemens Downings East Central 36 to nothing I think 44 to 13. Judson gets a big win, stays undefeated. Number one, 49 to nothing. O'Connor over Clark. And how about Brennan over Stevens? 42 to six at Unicorn Stadium. They got the beat when it comes to the San Marcos Rattlers. As we continue playing District 26 6A, Peyton Driggers at quarterback for the Bravos fires one low to Dylan Schreiwer for the touchdown that put Unicorns out in front 27 to seven. A loss by Smith and Valley tonight opens the door for the Bravos. The final from Unicorn Stadium, 48 to seven. New Bravos, Smith and Valley at home tonight in Rangers Stadium after getting roughed up by the Rockets last week. Now they have to face the Steel Knights on the inside of the postseason for now. We're in the fourth quarter. Knights up 28 to 7, looking for more. Wyatt Beagle hits Darren McKnight on a cross in front of the goal line for the 11 yard touchdown. That made it 35 to 7 Steel. The final from Smithson Valley, 35 to 10 Steel. The MacArthur Brame is looking for an upset tonight against the Madison Mavericks who are undefeated in District 27 6A. They're trying their best with Mack leading 14 to 10. And the handoff goes to Mavs running back Darian Gill. He takes it in from 22 yards out to get the Mavs a lead 17 to 14. Let's see if they go to 5 and 0 in District. And they do. Holding on MacArthur, 38-27. Still in District 27-6A. The Reagan Rattlers taking on Lee, otherwise known as the Legacy of Educational Excellence, and their new mascot, Military Service Dog. We're in the first quarter at the quarterback for Reagan as Lan Lorenz, who lets it fly for Zane Raba. He's got it at the goal line for the touchdown. Head back to the big game coverage school board for that final for you now. Reagan Downs Lee, 35-6. Madison outlasts MacArthur, 38-27 in Week 9. Smithson Valley Falls to Steel, 35-10. New Bravos with the big win at home, 48-7. And one more game in District 27-6A at Churchill Chargers visiting the Bobcats at South Sam. Both teams vying for the last playoff spot. The Bobcats bite first. Check out quarterback Brendan Riojas to Desmond Padilla. He's able to pick up 64 yards before he's flung out of bounds of the 13 yard line. After he's able to do that, Jason Esquivel will take it in from there, dragging one defender all the way into the end zone with him. South Sand takes the early 7 0 lead. Let's see if that has gone final. Churchill comes from behind to defeat South Sand 17 14. The McCollum Cowboys welcome us to Harlan Memorial Stadium, where they're looking for the first win of the season against Laredo Martin. Tigers on the proud. Jose Castaneda takes a handoff with a sweep right, finds a corner in the end zone for the 18 yard touchdown. Let's check to see if that has gone final from Harlandale Memorial. Laredo Martin with a win 43 21. The Wagner Thunder. 
Thunderbirds looking to stay undefeated in District 13 5A to get ready for Veterans for Memorial next week. But first, they had to get by Burbank tonight at SAISD. Already up 7 0. The T Birds strike again. Isaiah Williams to Jarrell Brown, and he's going down the far sideline. Picks up a nice block first, and then downfield, he gets another one to allow him to cut back to the inside to complete an 85 yard touchdown to make it 14 0. The final from SAISD 62 0. Wagner. Let's head to Alamo Stadium. The Jefferson Mustangs are hosting Sam Houston Hurricanes. They're trying to make the playoffs now in the second quarter. Hurricanes are up 8 3. Quarterback Devin Brown fakes a handoff, rolls to the left, and is able to get down to the Jeff 12 yard line before he's brought down. Then the pitch goes to Darian Anderson, and the Hurricanes are up 16 3 at the time. Let's head back to the big game coverage scoreboard because Jefferson tied that up to put it into overtime. It was 16 0. Jefferson comes back to win that one a final in overtime, 19 16. Wagner over Burbank, 62 0. Churchill over South Sand Barely, 17 to 14, and Lorena Martin over McCullum, 43 21. Lions fans, welcome to us to Hotchkiss Memorial Field. San Antonio Christian hosting Brownsville St. Joseph, leading 13 to 7, third quarter. The defense makes some play. It is Grayson Russell intercepts a pass in the opponent's territory at the 25 yard line, eventually tackled to the 15. That sets up this. A few plays later, Garrett Bates nice in for the five yard touchdown, 20 to 7. Let's check out the final San Antonio Christian School with a win, 28 to 7. A TMI Panthers hosting Austin St. Dominic. Eagles on the move in the first quarter. Quarterback Chris Janning keeps it himself, finds a crease, races to the end zone for the 21 yard touchdown. Austin St. Dominic goes up 7 to nothing. We'll update that score in a moment in a game that had to be finished today between Brandeis and Warren due to the bad weather last night. The Broncos went up. 31 and nothing today before the Warriors scored two touchdowns in the fourth quarter, including this one with 11 seconds left. Christian Miller finds Kyle Elder, who makes a leaping catch, but still ends with the Broncos winning at 31 to 14. Let's update that TMI score for you now. St. Dominic Savio, 53 to 20 over TMI. It was San Antonio Christian School over St. Joseph out of Brownsville, 28 to 7. Elsewhere in week number nine, a couple more finals for you. We do not have them. All right, and Randolph and Cole, 14, 41 to 10, the final on that one. We have much more to come with more highlights and more scores, including the big game coverage road trip and fan cam. But first, let's listen to the Taff Raider marching band.